so what are the features of a community then now mm. so looking at it from this 21st century perspective mm. what are the features and therefore the benefits of looking at uh, organizations and communities i think people then begin to see that it's not a hierarchical organization okay. that the organizational chart we see on walls is a way in which we report to each other Right. But beyond that, we need to value each other for, from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. If we only have the org chart view of the world mm -hmm. as the way that we value each other's contri contributions, we will not be deploying our gifts and talents to the fullest extent possible. Mm. Whereas in a community setting, for example, if you go into a, a, a fishing village, for example. So it's yeah. basically going back. Yeah, it's, it's going back to centuries before where people uh, lived in small uh, tribes and communities yes and and you see and to this date there are still s uh, such communities that are thriving and so the question they're is rich. why yeah they're rich yeah they are rich in, rich the in terms of their culture yeah. and the wisdom that and their connections with each other mm. the way they enact le leadership to solve issues is very different it's everybody together so yeah. you've been at this for almost 21 years even though you look mm. 21 uh, the question I'm coming to mm. you, so what, what book or what, uh, mm. what impacted you? What kind of created this change and gave you these massive insights on how organizations should be co converted to community? I think recently, I mean, at least uh, over the last couple of uh, 12, 12 to 24 months, yeah. uh, one particular book has been important as Dr. Fran Victor Frankel's book. It's quite, quite an old one. It's quite an old one. Yeah. Uh, but it, it talked about uh, a need for purpose. Right. All meaning. of us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah meaning. Uh, meaning. Yeah. yeah. In the work that we do, mm -hmm. and then um, adding to that the layer of the layer provided by Peter Block's community. Yeah. 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 Uh, and of course, my own faith uh, system, mm. uh, the Bible. These three together help to integrate some of these ideas I have. I, I probably have a little idea on. Mm. Victor Frankl's mm. uh, search for meaning mm. and the Bible. Mm. I've held the book many times. Mm. Uh, <laughs> what is Peter Block? He he said that there is a way that we can look at how we can build communities, what right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there is a structure. His subtitle to the book is the structure of belonging. Okay, what okay. Is that? And, and explain that. And one of that one of the key aspects to building structure is in having dialogue, in creating space and time for. Uh, vitalizing dialogue, yeah. yeah, and that builds the connections. Going back to my uh, what we earlier shared about organizations, community, right? The yeah. interpersonal connections yeah. that helps people share visions, beliefs, mm. uh, new ways of thinking about situations that the, the mm -hmm. that the mm -hmm. organization faces. Mm -hmm. So, I in creating space and time for this dialogue mm -hmm. to take place, and not just discussions, not just debates, but really heartfelt mm -hmm. person to person uh, dialogue. That, that allows people to you know, come together collectively and more collaboratively when you want to take action together. Mm. So, those, so those are the three books that have shaped a lot Made of my thinking. Made you who you are. Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Now, mm. you mm. and Brenda, mm. which is your wife, mm. and your children are mm. also working with youth in schools in Singapore. Yes. It's, it's your uh, social responsibility initiative, uh, or is it somebody else's? Would mm. you like to tell us a bit about that? Okay. And can you also bring it to the level of uh, mm. the Filipino education system, sure. if you can? Okay. Unless if you don't know how the Filipino education system I, is. I really don't know. What Assuming it's mm. uh, still under development. Mm. Okay. Uh, I think our part, of our part of our work is parked under this program, this platform called Thriving Schools. We believe that Thriving Schools... Thriving Schools. Thriving Schools, thriving schools. Thriving schools. Yeah. Okay. should be... A, should be What's the project called? What's the program called? We have currently a project with a school that brings, it's called Project SOAR and Project Alpha. Project what? SOAR. SOAR as SOAR like SOAR. Oh, SOAR. Okay, yeah, SOAR. SOAR. R. Oh, there's yeah. an R there, yeah. right. Yeah. So what, what do these projects do is that we bring uh, kids that are from lower ability classes. Right. Who have issues about studying? Right, right. Uh, because the system in Singapore tells, uh, puts them in a box and says that oh. hey, they are not right. really um, high ability. Mm -hmm. And we, w but you see, when when people are given labels like that, they often find that it's difficult to go into a situation and try to break out of the box. Yeah, to break yeah, to out, get of out of the box. box. Yeah. So what these projects uh, do is that we bring the kids out 
into fishing villages in, in Indonesia. Right. And we get them to do community building work like building, uh, digging wells, building mm -hmm. drains, mm -hmm. uh, as a community service to the, to the village, to mm -hmm. the hosting village. But we frame it as that the village is teaching us some vital lessons about ourselves and the about kids. About community. Yeah, yeah, about community. So yeah. when we ask them, when we get the kids to see, look, this village has been here and it's been surviving. Yes, they need our help. Correct. In a sense. But we, we think they need yeah, our help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what, at the same time, what can, what can they help us with? Think about their lifestyle. Think about what we can learn about how they relate mm. to each other that can mm. help us. There's so much openness that you're creating in the minds of kids. So for the kids who, who go on the programs, they come back realizing that they need to bond together. Because of self-esteem issues, they withdraw. Oh. But now they begin to share. They begin to build a community Whoa. that, that okay. can help them right. succeed yeah. academically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that is one part of the work that we do with schools. Uh, and uh, this, is, uh, this is captured and recorded for use by people across the world, what you're doing with the schools? And uh, well, I mean, it's, it's just experimentation and playing with uh, methods like appreciative inquiry, mm -hmm. positive deviance. Your description, mm -hmm. your definition of appreciative inquiry quickly. Actually, I've had people mm -hmm. who've talked mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. appreciative inquiry before, but uh, your perspective on it, your take on it. I, I think it's powerful. Yeah. I think it's about bringing, like <coughs> something I mentioned earlier, bringing the gifts from the fringe to the center of the group life. Yeah. Yeah, and, and really just gr uh, saying, bring it to everybody's attention that these are the gifts that we have. Letting the life force yeah. evolve. Yeah. yeah. So if we go back to the school example we talk about, uh, yeah. the results have been seen. The very first batch, yeah. we are into the third cohort this year. Yeah. The very first cohort who sat for the national exams last year, yeah. one of them who yeah. went on the program, he was national top 10. Mm. Uh, top 10 by way of scores. And that whole class itself, uh, was produced the best ever results since 1997 mm. for the school. So, yeah, positive, positivity works. Positive. Mm. I said what mm. you're here in town to talk about. You're, you're talking about this tomorrow, Monday um, morning, Monday I think morning Monday, in the Shangri-La yeah. itself. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, is that what you're going to talk I'm about? I'm going to talk about uh, what we, the models that we talk about organizational life with. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so I'm just sharing a, a culture building model that we've evolved. It, that can create community. Mm. Okay, so mm. we look forward to see you there. Mm. Happy to have you here in the Thank Philippines. You, Roger, Happy again. to have you here on this show. Thank you for sharing your insights. And before mm. you go, mm. uh, I'm going to ask you uh, mm. what kind of m legacy you want to leave. That's okay. a standard question. Mm. But hold <laughs> that question. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you, what mm. does La mean in Singapore? What does La mean in Singapore? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> It doesn't mean anything actually. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Well, people, most Singaporeans use the word ho after every time. Uh, well, after uh, after every uh, question. Yeah, well, uh, what is that? Is uh, that English or is that Malay or I Chinese? I think it's Hokkien, I think. It's Hokkien. <laughs> okay. It's a Chinese dialect that is a legacy. It's part of, it's become Singlish. La. La. Uh, and yeah, okay. Heavy. Uh, so if I start using mm -hmm. la, I'll get a free entrance into Singapore or no? Well, if I'm the Prime Minister, maybe. <laughs> okay. So what kind of legacy as an OD consultant, as a change facilitator, do you want to leave in this world? Right. When the world turns around and looks at the life of Noel and say, yeah. thank you, Noel, for this, mm. what would that be? <coughs> I'd like to be, th to be remembered for helping people answer the question or even just posing the question, what, what is more important, success or significance? That's what you'd like to Yeah, I'd about. like to be known as the person who keeps asking other people this question. You keep stirring up the mind. Yeah. So that. All yeah. right, Noel, thank you very thank much. You. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks and for having welcome me. Welcome to the Philippines. Have a great time and I hope I you will. keep coming back and adding value. Yes, thank you, Raju. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Noel Tan mm -hmm. from Singapore and I hope you enjoyed the show. This was Social Entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. In the coming shows, look forward to meet an English gentleman, Paul Holmes, and next week we'll have a Swiss couple. So. Good night, adios, and mabuhay. May God bless you all.